guys, welcome to Empower and thank you so much as usual for watching my channel. So on this Motivation Monday, we're going to be talking about ways to stay positive when everyone around you seems to be negative. So there's a lot of situations that we're going to find ourselves in as nurses and it can be extremely challenging to stay positive on the job because, I mean, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because, you know, most people don't want to go to the hospitals. So we're in a position where most of our patients do not want to be there. And then on top of that, nursing attracts a lot of amazing, positive and wonderful people, but it also attracts for some reason, a lot of people that don't seem to like their job and <laughs> don't like people and, you know, like to not try different ways to communicate. So when you are a nice, genuine, sweet and loving person and you're thrown into this like really negative environment, it can be really challenging. So I had a lot of challenges when I first started and of course I still have a lot of challenges but I do have a way that I deal with things that allows me to stay positive and stay um, uplifting and stay motivated. So I wanted to share with you my main tips here. So the first thing that I wanna say is you need to kind of just expect that no matter what happens, there's always gonna be like some negative lingering things. Just to give you an example, I had been working on the same unit for about four months and for the last two months, that unit had 100% patient satisfaction scores, which is like unheard of in most units anyways. And so, you know, you would think that with 100% satisfaction scores, the director would be happy with, you know, everything that, you know, you're doing because obviously everything's good. <laughs> But then, you know, I found that that director would just kind of like nitpick at like little things. Uh, one time she texted me that there was a complaint that a patient that had their blood glucose checked, there was no order for it. And, you know, in my head I'm thinking, okay, like, yes, it was my patient, but, you know, I didn't check their blood sugar. So, you know, why are you getting me involved? I guess she just wanted me to be aware, to speak with the nursing assistants more clearly. Then the other thing was she said that I wasn't filling out the rounding sheets properly, you know, the rounding sheet kind of like BS thing. Don't get me started on those. <laughs> um, so you always just kind of like need to accept even when things are good that there's always going to be a little, a little bit of negativity. And so the way that I deal with those is that I just drown them out with positivity. I try to do things that are going to make me feel good. Maybe that is eating healthy. Maybe that's you know, having like a nice treat. Sometimes they say that like colorful foods are supposed to enhance your mood. So sometimes I'll grab like an orange or tangerine or grapefruit, um, just little things, you know, maybe it's like mind over matter, which either way. <laughs> Sometimes like bigger things can happen. One time there's like this particular director that, you know, if something happens, she always calls you into the office and wants you to sit across from her and she wants to tell you something terrible that happened and, you know, make it look like it's all your fault. So one time she came to me and she was like, I need to talk to you now. And I was not in a good state at that time. I was feeling very hungry. I was feeling like I had to go to the bathroom. I wasn't in a good state. And so I said, I know this is not an emergency. This is about something that happened weeks ago. <laughs> but somehow I'm, you know, responsible for or correlated with. So I put up a boundary and I just said, I need a few minutes and I'll be in your office as soon as I can get there. And I was very calm about it. I was very pleasant. So what I did was I had a little snack. I went to the bathroom. I made sure everything was caught up with my patients because my patients come first. And then I went there and by taking care of myself first and not going into her office feeling terrible and needing to use the restroom and feeling hypoglycemic or whatever, I felt better. And although she shared with me, you know, the thing that she thought was my fault and everything, I was able to be more receptive to it. So um, yeah, number one thing is to make sure you feel good. Take care of yourself, listen to your body. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Do you need water? Do you need to eat something? Take care of yourself so that you are 100% there and that you feel good. And number two, just expect little negative things because it's just gonna happen. It's just part of life. So all right guys, I really hope that you like this Motivation Monday. Next week, I'm going to be talking about sleep 
And my advice for you, um, I know that a lot of you guys work night shift or have really erratic sleep schedules. So I have some awesome advice for you. So make sure you stay tuned for next week's Motivation Monday. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you then. Love you. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.